morning. Welcome to Daylight with Dean number 50 on May 31st, 2020. And number 50 felt like it deserved a special guest <laughs> with us this morning. Uh, yesterday, uh, Leslie has attended all Daylight with Deans as well, just from the other room. And I don't know if you heard when you were listening her <laughs> morning wake up yawn, but her mother called her later in the day or sent her a text and said, Leslie, were you okay? Uh, I couldn't tell what was going on. You know, she, and it's just, just how she wakes up. She has big, <sighs> big yawns. So, um, also yesterday, um, I forgot to take my sip of coffee on the daylight because um, I woke up especially groggy and I said, I, I need to, I need to get a jump on this. So I was going to uh, hit half a cup. I hit about a half a cup before it started. So then when I started, I was in the groove and I just kept talking and I realized when I was done that I didn't have any. So uh, to my uncle Tom Brown, way to go for being the one that note that yesterday. And uh, so I have not had my coffee yet. Leslie has had a complete full cup already. So here we go. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Um, how do you like coffee in the morning? Cream and a lot of it. <laughs> Leslie without coffee is an adventure. Um, she, she often says, I understand my grandmother now. Oh yeah, my mom. You want to tell the story? She lived with my parents for four years. And there was a little room on the side, and my mom was teaching at the Christian school. And I can just remember my mom getting up like at five. And my grandma, if we would come down early in the morning, my grandma, she, I could hear her coming, yelling as we were coming down the stairs. And she'd go, Carol, coffee, coffee, Carol. And um, we didn't have the little pods that you could make, like instant coffee. But... Um, it's really an, an endearing memory now, and I get it. Coffee, coffee, I get it. Sorry. No, it's and good. I didn't even start to like coffee till I think till the fourth kid. It wasn't until we moved in Mississippi. No, that was three. Oh, sorry. See, I need more coffee. Um, we three kids. At the end there, of Mississippi. I started drinking coffee. We always have to have coffee on when we had. Um, people over mm. and that kind of thing and sweet tea. I always had to have some sweet tea, learn how to make some sweet tea, but coffee became your friend. So anyways, enough about coffee. Well, daylight isn't daylight without coffee for many of us. So oh, sorry. Leslie, Leslie, <laughs> Leslie also said, I can't sit here and do this without thinking of uh, Kelly and, and Ryan uh, Seacrest on yes. there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How are you? Except I said Kelly and Regis because I'm a little Regis fan. So, anyways, good for you too, Ryan. So. All right. So, I tell a lot of stories about Leslie and thought it would be uh, great for the 50th daylight uh, to have Leslie with us. And whenever, um, whenever her mother texted her that yesterday morning to see if she was okay. Um, I said, well, Leslie, you're, you're on the show already. I could hear it very loudly. I said, would you like to come on live? And she paused and said, no, I'll, I'll think about that. And uh, so she was she was uh, asleep very early last night. And I thought, there's a good chance yeah. she might be up for it. So when I got up at 520, I was getting the coffee ready. And I heard her uh, call my name and... Uh, she, I said, do you want coffee? And she said, yes. So I knew she was going to get up. And then yeah. she, I was getting it in her, uh, in this mug. And she said, I want it in my... Blue and yellow mug from Anthropology. Right. Her so favorite, my favorite mug. Favorite store, favorite mug. So, uh, uh, Leslie, my life has been uh, so blessed to be 
on this journey with you for as long as I have with you. I remember I was telling a friend who grew up with you about uh, 18 years ago, 17 years ago, how lucky I am that I married you. And he was like, oh, you have no idea. And, you know, the thing that, um, you know, that, the thing that I've noticed is the longer we're married, the more grateful that I am that I'm on this journey with you. I mean, you... Cheers to the immune. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> Our mantra, she chooses to be amused instead of annoyed. Um, you've heard me mention uh, my garage several times in the, in the thing. Uh, so... Yesterday, Alex and a friend decided they were going to paint the foul line and the box uh, on their basketball court out back. And so they bought this kit that had everything but the paint. It had chalk. <laughs> <laughs> it had chalk. So he came in, he said, Dad, I need a tape measure. And then he needed uh, paint, yeah. painting tape so he could, you know, uh, mark out where he needed to paint it. And then he needed the paint. And so I kept getting him all this stuff. And... And then uh, he needed a second roller because his friend was helping him. And, and so Leslie was in my garage, and, and uh, it's always a stressful uh, thing for her <laughs> to come in my garage. I knew where the pain stuff was. Yes. And uh, so when she was, um, when she was, when we were done and Alex was done, she, she looked at me and said, you know, your garage really came through today. It really, really had, really had what we needed. It's not that everything in here is junk. <laughs> so uh when you ask how i'm able to just enjoy life and and face life with humor and joy um man she's a big part of it <laughs> just uh, we, choose. we find the funny <laughs> yeah. nice nice um so anything about daylight that um uh, you know, you want to share just what it's been like from your perspective in there and uh, what has uh, struck you about it or um, anything. This morning you were reading your uh, Jesus Always book and it's nice to see uh, the inspiration that uh, and the focus that that gives you. Oh, Sarah Young. Yeah, what are we doing? Nice. What are we doing? Talking about joy and gratitude and not being in control of it all and how that really frees us mm. that we don't have to be in control of it all it's actually kind of freeing mm. especially as we've navigated kind of from my perspective the whole school and decisions to be made for the fall i know there's a lot of you know wonder and thoughts of what's going to happen in the fall and what that looks like so um you know just Live that each day. Um, I haven't uh, mentioned anything that's been going on on the national scene for the past uh, mm. five days or so. Um, and we filmed my sermon um, earlier in the week before you know the demonstrations were turning uh, mm. into uh, more than that at times. And so I, uh, I, I failed to kind of address it, um, you know, in, in our service that's going to be uh, done today. But, um, you know, my heart just breaks. Um, my heart breaks for uh, the family of George Floyd and his girlfriend and all who loved and valued him. And, um, you know, I just, um, I find it best not to assume that I know what it's like for somebody else. So I always try to move forward with empathy and grace and understanding. But uh, police officers, and so I respect what they do, and I know they have to serve in certain ways. But um, it was heartbreaking to uh, see what transpired, and um, I just my my prayers for everyone involved. My prayers for our country that. Uh, Whew. I don't. I don't have a lot. A lot on that right now. Just uh, 
my friend Mark shared some great thoughts on Micah chapter 6, verse 8, uh, where it just said, uh, Mike is talking and he said, He has shown us uh, what is good and what the Lord requires of us uh, to do justice, to pursue justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God. Mm-hmm. And I find walking humbly with God uh, also involves walking humbly with others who I may not understand their perspective, I may not understand their anger, I may not understand their pain, but I walk and listen. I listen and I, um, I'm i just so sorry to see what's happened to George Floyd and the heartbreak that his family's experiencing and now what's happening with the demonstrations turning um, into what they morph into um, at different times. So, so that's all I got on that at 5.55 Sunday morning. Anything else you want to say to everybody? <laughs> it's early. It is early. <laughs> but you're you're the famous morning person in the family. Well, I am. After after a few cups of coffee. Yeah. And I have another one. Yeah. So, well, guys, I uh, just want to uh, thank you for connecting um, with us. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing this with your friends. Thank you for uh, the joy that you bring and allowing me to share a journey with with you guys as well. Um, And uh, Les, I'm very honored that you chose to join me this 50th day lightning theme this morning. So thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for uh, just your goodness and your love and the gifts that you bless our lives with. Uh, Father, I thank you for the way that you blessed my life uh, 29 years ago this spring when I got to meet Leslie on that blind date, on that fateful day of March 9th, 91, and just the journey that we've been on together ever since then. I thank you for her support of my career transition from a scuba diver for golf balls to a pastor, her willingness to follow me uh, and the Lord's leading down to Tupelo, Mississippi, and um, just the love that she has for our kids, our family, uh, for me, and for this community. God, I thank you that you've called both of us together to uh, serve you as we serve others with deep love and compassion in the professions that we've been called to as a teacher and as a pastor. Lord, I just pray that you continue to bless and watch over us. I pray for our children, that you will protect them, that you will help them navigate uh, this time of late teens and early adulthood. Thank you for the way that you have provided for them and ask that you would continue to open doors for them and bless them, hold them close to you, I ask. And God, I just ask your blessing on each person here today. For those of us, for many of us that go uh, uh, to your place of worship today, uh, and whether we're returning back in person, as some might be, or whether that's still weeks away, I pray, Lord, however we worship and connect with you, whether it's through an online stream service or Uh, other ways today, I pray that your presence will be real and strong and helpful. Um, God, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks, everybody.